There are ways that you can risk manage. What are the key risks that an investor faces? Let's talk about them. A market crash, a market correction, interest rates going up, change in monetary and fiscal policy, uh, temporary unemployment, critical illness. Uh, these are some of the things that can actually affect your wealth. And what one of the best things that you can do, and we do this with our business, all our businesses, and even with my personal finances, I basically just take a piece of paper and I write down every financial risk that I face. And then I ask myself a simple question. Can this risk be minimized, mitigated, eliminated, or reduced? And the answer is that 99% of your risks, the answer is yes, you can reduce, mitigate, minimize, or eliminate your risks. The moment you do any type of investing, even if you put money in the bank, there's a risk. So everything that you do or not do carries a risk. Even your indecisions have a risk. So you don't become successful by avoiding risk. You become successful by understanding risk and then skillfully managing it and minimizing it. Those who avoid risk never ever become successful because think about this. Avoiding risk is like saying, I will not drive a car in case I have an accident. How can you become a skilled driver? I will not ride a bicycle in case I have an accident. How will you become a skilled by a cyclist? So in investing and business, what people do is they completely avoid. Instead of saying, I'm going to understand the risk, I'm going to become skilled in managing, mitigating, eliminating, or reducing the risk, we just avoid it. So we never have the confidence. How can you become skilled when you are not even, you don't even understand it. You have to understand risk. You have to embrace it, but you don't take stupid risks. I will never take the type of risk which is speculative in nature that can cause me a capital loss. And you'll be amazed at how many of your risks you manage through your own understanding, through sticking to principles and by monitoring your own behaviors and your emotions.